and you think it's a true religion? I mention this so that you can see that Christianity is a religion based on falsehood and they couldn't care less. It is Christianized paganism. That's what it is. The history books tell us that Christian missionaries couldn't convert the pagans. So they Christianize their customs, which is all based on falsehood. It is not based on truth. And there is no better example of this than the Christian preachers, when preachers, preachers would quote um, this scripture from Acts 4, verse 12. In Acts 4, verse 12, is a very significant scripture. And they would read it, and it, would, it says, There is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved. And when they read that scripture, they tell you that this name is Jesus Christ, which is a completely made up name. I mean, <laughs> it is completely bogus. I can't think of anything that is more ridiculous than this, my friends. In fact, only 500 years ago, nobody used or knew the name Jesus. I know that might come as a shock, you know. I know most people would, would never um, think that what I just said is true. But it's a fact. And you cannot deny it. None, no one can deny it. There, is, there was no, no letter J in early English or in Latin. That is a fact. There is no J this day in the Hebrew language. That is a fact. Just consult any respectable dictionary or encyclopedia. Go ahead and do it. That gives the history of the letter J. And they will tell you, it, it will tell you that although J is the 10th letter of the alphabet, it was the last letter added to the English language. It came into use in the 18th century, my friends. That's when it was actually started, used to write. People start writing, you know, using the letter J. In fact, the first time the word Jews was written in any language was in 1775 when it appeared in a play written by Sheridan named The Rivals, where he said, She shall have a skin like a mummy and a beard like a Jew. That was the first time the word Jew was written. You know, I have a copy of the first um, King James Version. And this, this, this um, Bible was published in 1611. 1611, okay? And it does not have the words Jesus, Jews, John, Job, or Jerusalem. Here we have the King James Version um, of the of the Holy Bible that was printed in 1611. Um, this is when the King James Bible was first published. And today we're going to see that there is no letter J in this Bible. There is no word named Jesus in this Bible. No word named Job, James, Jerusalem, anything that starts with the letter J. <clears throat> because the letter J was not in common use at that time as a print in, in print. Okay. Okay. Let's turn to um turn to the book that would be called Job and notice <clears throat> notice what it's called <clears throat> the 
It's called the book of Job with an I, no J. Okay? <clears throat> let's continue over and let's go to the book of <clears throat> Jeremiah. There is no Let's just get to the beginning of this book. <clears throat> Notice what it says here. The book of the prophet Eremia. Okay. <clears throat> and as just as a point, the letter I was pronounced like a Y at that time. Such as Ye, Ye, Yeremia. Okay? <clears throat> Alright, we're going to go um, to the second volume, or what is properly called the New Testament. And um, this is the book of St. Matthew. And let's try to find somewhere where the word Jesus is. <coughs> <clears throat> would have been mentioned. Okay, right here. In Matthew chapter not, chapter 14, it says right here, At the time Herod the Tetrarch heard of the fame of Isus. Notice that. Isus. Not Jesus, but Isus. I want, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make the point here that the letter J was something that most people didn't even know. And this was only <clears throat> 400 years ago. Okay? How quick we forget. So, um, I think this is sufficient to make the point um, that we're making here today that the letter J was um, only introduced, only introduced, only a few years ago. <clears throat>